Namaste guys, Rajesh here. So earlier this week, Apple released iOS 9 for the iPad, iPhone and the iPod Touch. Like with any other major iOS release, iOS 9 brings with it a number of new features and enhancements including a smarter Siri, a low power mode, proactive, a vastly improved notes app, some new features for the keyboard, improved security and more. However, the highlight of the update for me has to be the new multitasking features that Apple has introduced for the iPad. I have long said that the iPad, while a very powerful tablet, is greatly limited by its software. With iOS 9, Apple is somewhat fixing this problem by introducing some new multitasking features for the iPad which makes it a great productivity device. So the first feature that I'm going to show in this video is called Slide Over. What Slide Over does is that it allows you to run a secondary app in an overlay mode on top of an existing app. Now you can use the secondary app in the overlay mode almost like a full-fledged app. The only thing is that it should be updated to support the feature. This is a great way to quickly note down or view some information from a secondary app while you're working in your primary app. You can bring up the secondary app by simply swiping from the right edge of the screen. By default, the secondary app is automatically selected for you by iOS, but you can select an app of your choice by swiping from the top right edge of the screen. Now only those apps that have been updated to support iOS 9's slide over feature will be shown in this list. Also, when you bring up the secondary app, the primary app that is running in the background will be freezed so as to save resources and battery life. The second new multitasking feature in iOS 9 is called Split View and it basically builds on Slide Over. What Split View does is that it allows you to run two applications simultaneously on your iPad. If you are already running an application in Slide Over mode, all you need to do is drag the left edge of the app to the center of the screen to expand the app into Split View mode. Now you will be able to use both applications at the same time. It is also possible to seamlessly copy contents between two applications that you are running in split view mode. Like slide over, applications must be updated to support split view. Since running two applications side by side is very resource intensive, split view only works on the iPad Air 2 and the iPad Pro. Similarly, the secondary app in split view is automatically decided for you by iOS 9 but you can select an application of your choice by swiping from the top right edge of the screen. The last new multitasking feature that Apple has introduced in iOS 9 is called picture in picture. What this feature basically does is that it allows you to play videos in a small window on top of other applications. If you are playing a video in a web page, you can tap the small picture in picture button to open it in a windowed mode and then you can sc scroll around that, that page in Safari or maybe simply close Safari and go back to your home screen while the video will continue playing in its windowed form. The window can be dragged around but it cannot be expanded in size. Picture in picture is available for all iPads starting from the iPad Air and the iPad Mini 2. So that's it guys, these are all the new multitasking features that Apple has introduced in iOS 9. Do hit the like button below if you like this video and subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so.